Hey guys, Hopeless Dragon here with another deck profile. Today it's going to be on a more fun deck, one that I really enjoy. Um, it's going to be Dark Lords. Um, not the greatest archetype ever, but uh, they can have some fun little combos and they all look really cool. So let's get right on into it. Start things off, we got Triple Dark Lord Superbia. Uh, when he's special summoned, you can target a fairy in a graveyard except for him and special summon it. So really good effects, decent stats as well, uh, can make a little combo with this next card, Athena. So on to the next one, <laughs> Triple Athena. Uh, her effect is each time a fairy monster is summoned, it's like 600 damage to your opponent. And then once you turn, you can send a fairy type monster you control except Athena to the graveyard, especially summon a fairy type monster from your graveyard, except for her. So you can do a little loop if you get multiple of these guys out and tribute off Superbia, special summon back Athena and kind of. Keep on going and do a little loop with them, so it's a pretty fun little thing. Then we got Triple Star Seraph Scepter. Um, helps make the deck kind of a little more competitive since you got the stick and chair combo. Um, really great card, can pop stuff when you go for a 3 exceed. Um, yeah, then you get a draw card. Then Triple Sovereignty, more draw power and uh, special summon easily. Great card. Then two Archlord Christias. You run a lot of level 8s in here, so uh, level 8 fairies. So Christia works really well because you can dispatch them on her since everything's like a fairy. Um, you also have lots of ways to get things out of the graveyard, so um, great cards. Shut down a lot of different decks, good stats. Love the card. Then we got two Hecatrice. Um, pretty awesome card, can search your Valhalla, so get off some little plays. Help deck then. One Dark Lord Desire. Um, I pretty much just like this card. He's uh, not the greatest, but he looks cool and got good stats. But uh, his effect is can't be special summon. You can choose to summon him by treating one fairy monster, and once turn during your main phase, you can have him lose a thousand attack to send a monster from the deck. I mean, to send a monster your opponent controls to the graveyard. One BLS, you got lights and darks, so pretty much staple card. <laughs> Swing over stuff or banish. Uh, one Dark Lord is Modius. Again, another card that. I just enjoy. Um, you can't special summon from the deck or graveyard. You can't special summon him with Valhalla. Uh, excuse me, Valhalla though. Um, you can send a fairy from your deck to the graveyard with his effect, which is pretty cool. Um, and if he'd be destroyed, you get a special summon one Asmo token and one uh, Duos token. And the Asmo token can't be destroyed by card effects, and the Duos token can't be destroyed by battle. So kind of cool little stuff. Then one Dark Lord is Arado. Um, again, just because he's another Dark Lord is the main reason I run him. He's also 8, and uh, he looks cool. And decent stats as well. But his effect is, if there are 4 more Dark Monsters with different names in Graveyard, you can choose some of this card, choosing 1 Dark Monster. Uh, then you send Dark Monster for a hand to the Graveyard, destroy all their monsters your opponent controls. But then if you activate that, he is destroyed during the end phase. Um, his effect can be okay every now and then. But yeah. That's it for the monsters. On to the spells. We got triple trade in for some draw power and good stuff in the graveyard. Double Valhalla. Um, if you ain't got no monster, you can special summon a fairy from your hand very easily. Two twin twisters for some back row hate and helps fill up the graveyard. One Regeki, just a great card. Soul charge for those power plays and foolish to send what you might need for something. <laughs> then we got triple call the haunted. Um, graveyard recursion sets up combos, gets the flowing. Two Oasis of the Dragon Souls, pretty much the same deal. Uh, two Breakthrough Skills, one Torrential, one Warning, and one Bottomless to finish off the traps and the main deck. So on to the extra. Uh, doing one Zombie Stun. Uh, I like this guy, he takes two Darks, well two level 8 Darks, but uh, just a real big beater and he can negate stuff by sending a card from your hand to the graveyard and uh, detach the material. Then he switches to defense but can negate a card. Then one number 38, Hope Harboring Her Dragon, Titanic Galaxy, quite a mouthful. Uh, this card's really good, he can negate spells and uh, attach it to him as material. Then uh, he can also boost attacks, but you don't really use that all too often, he's more or less there for negating spells. Uh, Heliopolis for popping stuff. Felgran, uh, good little bit of negation and things along those lines. <laughs> uh, one Lancelot, he can attack directly and he's kind of like a lad, so he can negate stuff as well. Uh, giant Grinder, in case you need to do a little bit of burn. Red Eyes Flare, kind of the same deal. Some burn. Drago Sack for popping stuff. Big Eye, stealing stuff. 
uh, diamond because you do run two delta roasts because it's very easy to make in here with the star seraph engine um, just good against darks and anything that needs to send one Ouroboros, uh, pretty much the Trish Exceed. <laughs> um, yeah, one Masquerade, good against Cosmo, stops after in battle phase, and also can burn some. Then uh, two Delthros, because it's very easy to make, and he can pop stuff, which is pretty nice. And one Castell to finish off the Exceeds. So yeah, there was my Dark Lord deck profile. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later.